I gave this AI platform 30 contacts that it called, and it scheduled over two appointments with only 30 contacts. Now, if you ask me, that's pretty insane. And I'm gonna be running you guys how to actually set up the whole AI platform and do it yourself. So first, we're gonna start by going to air.ai. As you can see, I'm in air.ai right now. You would click create your free account or log into an existing account. I'm just gonna click log into an existing account. Creating your own account is not that hard and it should be pretty simple. Now, once in their dashboard right here, we're actually gonna end up going to create and then agents. Now under agents, we're gonna click create new agent, which is right here. So new agent up in the top right. Now we're gonna name our agent. I'm just gonna name it my name, Lucas. And we're gonna do sales. You can do customer service and connect it to your business number. Now let's say you have a CRM that has a business number. You could actually have it so where your business number directly gets put into air.ai and AI calls and AI talks to the actual customer. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do sales as that's what we did. Choose your editing mode. I would just do standard. What's I'm gonna do here? So we're gonna move forward with standard. The script, I recommend doing magically generate using with AI. You can do ChatGPT and create it from scratch, but what I've seen work best is actually magically create one using their AI and then use ChatGPT to actually expand on it or make it better if you do pay for ChatGPT like I do. And that's what I ended up doing and it actually worked really well. So I recommend doing that if you actually use ChatGPT or pay for ChatGPT. If not, their AI is just as good. So we're gonna do create one with AI. So now it says, how do you want to magically generate a script? So upload a call recording, give AI your existing script or use a proven template from AIR. Now I wouldn't upload a call recording just because uh, it might not transcribe it well or give AIR your existing script. So that's where you actually can use ChatGPT and plug in your script from ChatGPT and give it to them. So it can code it to their form. As you can see, you know, they have a certain way that the script goes actually into their system. So you can give it a ChatGPT script and give it to them to actually insert into their system or you could use a proven template from air we're just gonna do a proven template from air and then we could just make ChatGPT actually customize it from there now we're gonna do a pain and desire gap just because we're optimizing for appointment and appointment setting so now we're gonna have air chat customize this template so now you're just gonna follow along with their AI and go through this entire chat uh, we'll do it right here as it says first things first what's your company and what do you want to say you're calling from so we're gonna just put my company social boost media great so we answered all all the questions here and it's now writing out a script for us and i just did everything about my company social boost media now as this is writing we could actually end up copying all this once it finishes and then giving it to ChatGPT to actually make it better which i highly recommend you do but for now we're just going to copy this script to the clipboard and use this for now so we can continue. So I'm just gonna actually delete all of this right here and I'm only gonna keep, hey, prospect name, wait for prospect to respond, command V and plug all of that in. So now I'm just gonna delete great all the way down to wait prospect to respond. Great, so we now have our script in, but we're really gonna focus on the right side right here where it's really important where we can actually connect it to a knowledge base. Now, I'm gonna set up a new knowledge base for you guys so you guys know exactly what it's like. So I just entered in the name of our knowledge base. I'm gonna hit create right here. And then now it says knowledge base created. Would you like to create cards for your knowledge base now? We're gonna click yes. And now it brought us to this knowledge page right here. So I'm gonna click add to knowledge base. And then where it says manually add FAQ flashcards or upload documents, you can upload documents I don't really recommend it just because sometimes it's hard for the AI to actually read documents. I would rather have you actually go to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to make common questions for your business with answers in response to that and then manually add them as flashcards. So for example, what is the name of your company? Tesla Supercomputers. Uh, that's the answer or response that we give. So creating a flashcard is just for if you want the AI to answer certain questions that it might not know, like the price of your actual service that you're doing or whatever else might pop up in your business. But for now, we're actually going to skip this and we're to go back to the other page. So now inside here, we connected it to Social Boost Media. We can add an action. Now we could either do book an appointment, live transfer, end call, or custom. So we can update CRMs, we can book an appointment. I'm just gonna do book an appointment and I'm, I'll walk you through actually how to set it up with GHL. I know you can actually do it with another calendar app as well, but we'll just do book appointment for now. And obviously live transfer should be pretty simple. So they give you this video right here to actually connect it to a calendar app that they recommend. I don't use that. Uh, you could walk through it and set it up yourself if you want to. I'm actually using GHL for my business, so I will show you how to connect it with GHL, but I know that they do like this app and it does integrate pretty well with their systems, but GHL is 
pretty much the move. So you can see also on the right side, you have British accent. So you can actually choose the voice you want for your AI. So you have the standard American right, British cool. accent, Spanish, well, uh... and you have everything that you can possibly think of in here. So it's like Scottish or anything else. They are in the Spanish beta right now. Okay. So you can do Spanish. I've found that the British accent actually works the best as of right now, just because it's not as choppy as others. The others are kind of choppy a little bit and the British accent is really good just because it's the original model. That's why. We're gonna do the okay. British for right now and choose that selected voice. And we can even do post call notes on the right side here or set up stats tracking. But that will all be set up actually in campaigns later. So we're gonna click save here. So you can actually now talk to your agent too if you wanna do that. So you can actually come in here, click talk to your agent, enter in your name, enter in your number. So I'm not gonna have to blur my number that popped up automatically right there. We're not gonna do that right now. We're actually gonna go into contacts and go to lists where we can now start a list so let's say you had a list of you know dentist owners you would click right here new list dentist owners uh, and then we'll put the date that we got them so let's say like we had a bunch of dentist owners come in december 28th right when we click save we would now go to contacts and hit import contacts search from lists and click dentist owners 28 check the box select it and now right here we can actually upload a file and i would recommend uploading a csv file i'm pretty sure that's the only file you can actually give it with uh names numbers emails uh, you don't really need emails but you can but you would hit next step and then you would come right here and upload your file and then it would automatically match the columns for you and then it would automatically import the data so not a lot to be said here and to how to actually do it it's pretty straightforward so we're going to exit out of this so we're going to close the model we're going to go into campaigns now now this is how you actually set up the bot calling leads so this is really important we're going to go into a new campaign scroll down to the bottom and hit agree and set up campaign. We'll make the call source the dentist and we'll do outbound calling. We can do inbound calling where, like I said, customer service and we'll automatically just charge you when someone calls the number of your business. But we're gonna do outbound calling for now and we're gonna choose our agent. So our agent's gonna be Lucas Keeler. Our list is gonna be the dentist. Max daily budget's gonna be $25. And we're gonna save and launch this. Now, there's actually no leads to call. So it says, please be mindful. Makes sense, let's launch. So it's actually not gonna call anybody. I'm actually gonna turn this off to make sure my card doesn't get charged. We're gonna come in here to recordings where we, I already ran a campaign for one of the businesses that I work with, which as you can see here, actually called a little over 17 people and it actually booked two people. So we're gonna listen into actually one of those conversations and see how well it did. Hey, Donovan. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's Alexander from... So you, as you can see there, it's a little late to oh, actually God. answering the phone call. That's great to hear. So it looks like you filled out a form seeking information on how to improve your baseball skills. Do you remember doing that? Yeah. Well, I'm actually a manager. Great. So I'm curious, what had you looking into improving your baseball skills? Any specific goals or areas you wanted to focus on? Uh, probably getting stronger and... Uh... Exit velocity. Getting stronger is death. Uh, exit velocity. That's the key. So right there, it kind of skips. Like, it has a hard time when people actually pause to think. And they go, you know, I really want to improve. Um, and that's like, it's like people are thinking. It has a hard time actually registering that. So it's still kind of choppy in that way. But it definitely sounds like a human. And it definitely sounds real. It's just a little bit choppy. And once they kind of fix that, I think this platform will really explode. And will actually really take off. But if you want to use your GHL calendar, you would go into the top right, click on your profile, go to integrations, and it would bring you here. And you would go in and copy your GHL API key and copy your GHL calendar ID. Now, your GHL IP key is actually pretty simple. You just go into to your GHL. Go into settings on GHL. As you can see, this is a client's account right here. And as you can see right here, we have API key. You would copy that key, put it into air, which would be right here. And then you would go to your calendar on GHL. You would click copy permanent link, and then you would paste that into your browser. You can hit enter or you don't have to, but you would copy the numbers at the end of the link and then plug it right here in a GHL calendar ID. And you can now set up appointments with this AI platform. Now, am I gonna be using this AI platform? No, not really. I don't think it's good enough to actually be calling leads that come in. It's not a good look for the business. When this gets better, I definitely will look into it again and see if it's feasible for us to even do for some of our clients. But for now, 
I'm not. I think the actual customer representative would actually be pretty cool. And I think it would be a pretty easy job for this to do. But that's it for now, guys. Please subscribe. I'm dropping videos like this all the time on new technology, advertising, social media, everything that I do. And I hope this helped you in some way. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.